with a hot snapper bite last night, it made sense we should stick around the same area for a couple of days. With the sun already rising, we decided to start out around the 20 meter mark. At certain times throughout the year, schools of snapper will move into these areas, searching for their favorite tucker. Tui tours, pippies, sea biscuits, and even small bait fish scrawling up and close to shore. Sometimes when fishing these very shallow areas, you can be surprised with the amount of fish or even how big these fish really get. Stray lining, soft baiting or even drifting with baits can be very rewarding for some and with the fish holding just off the bay, there's no need to run all over the ocean trying to find fish when they're right there at your doorstep. We started where we had left off in the day before, even out on the 20 meter mark place was full of fish. Dropping our first baits down the burly trail didn't take long before we were into the fish. It was pretty much instant for both of us, we were hooking up straight away. And here's Stevo back on the 3500 slammer with the regiment and still loving it. It looked like the decision to stay around where the fish were was the right one. These fish were a little bit better than last night, there were some nice fish coming aboard. It's just starting to go off, fish are getting bigger, they're hungry. Sucked up into another fish, with a nice snapper. Slammer, 500. Yeah, not bad. The fish were really starting to come on the bike and it was becoming a lot of fun. And here I am, hooked up to a better far north red. This was a lot better fish and although we were letting most of our fish go, this one had to come home with us as it had swallowed the hook right down. Sometimes I felt sorry for Steve, yet the man, the camera, but hey, someone had to do it. It was a lot of fun throughout the day, and we still had the afternoon fish in the shallows to come. As the day wore on, the fishing just never slowed down. The little Slammer 4500 had been dealing to the fish all day. And yep, another little red comes aboard. And with this one only being lip hooked, we were able to let this one power away back down to the bottom. Just uh, moved back into Tokarel Bay, Tokarel Beach. And, uh, it's in about eight meters of water. And there's been some good fish caught here lately, between six and eight meters. Here's Steve with a respectable snapper caught in the eight meter mark on his first bait. So yeah, there's a um, lot of fish starting to move in here at the moment, and the sounder. Pretty much tells you the story. Now as it um, gets later in the afternoon, hopefully the fish come right on the point and get bigger. There's actually been a couple of fish caught here around that sort of 18 pound area, so hopefully we get something like that. Steve's been using the um, new Slammer 3500 on the pen regiment rod and he's actually quite liking that. It's um, mainly used for soft baiting but um, come in to do a bit of stray line so we're just utilising it as a stray line set and he's quite liking that. 
So yep, let's get into some more fish. The fishing had been amazing throughout the day and moving into the 8 meter mark it was just the same. The fishing was just as hot. Here's Stevo holding another respectable snapper. But with this one only being lip hooked, we were able to let this one go to fight another day. It's one thing I love about fishing the shallows, when you're able to let fish like this go and see them power away, it just makes your day. It's moved into six meters. If there were any fish around in the six meter mark. Yep. Just got a good grab. Oh, nice penny. Get a nice grab. Putting some baits down into the booby trail. The fishing just got better and better as the evening came on. We still hadn't got on onto any big fish but they were solid fish and it had been a lot of fun throughout the day. It had been another epic strayline sesh off Tokerau and although the saying goes don't leave fish to find fish, but heading back in, Steve and I thought it was time to try another area. Our plan all along was to fish a few different places and we were keen to fish the shallows on one of the far north harbours. So it looked like it was going to be a change of plans tomorrow and we couldn't wait.